Hi everyone! Welcome to episode 10 of Baking in Blue. And today, we're going to be making pumpkin pie. So let's get started and go over our ingredients. Okay, we have quite the laundry list of ingredients today. <laughs> so over here on your left is the ingredients for our homemade crust. This is a cup and a half of flour, half a cup of shortening, half a teaspoon of salt, and about a quarter of a cup of water. And I'm going to make two pies today, one with a homemade crust and the other with this store-bought pre-made crust right here. So over here for the filling, all of these ingredients are doubled, but what I'm going to say and what's going to be on the screen is just for one pie. So we have a cup and a half of pumpkin puree, and you can either buy a can or make it yourself. I'm going to link here to episode four where I showed you how to do that. We have three quarters of a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon and a quarter of cinnamon, a teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and half a teaspoon of cloves, three eggs, six ounces of evaporated milk, and a cup and a quarter of regular milk. All right, step one, we're going to mix together our homemade crust. We're going to combine the flour and the salt in a bowl and then we're going to cut in the shortening until it looks like small crumbs. Now you can either use a pastry cutter for that if you have one. I don't, so I'm just going to use a fork. Either way it works fine. The fork will just take a little bit longer. And then once that is all mixed up, you're going to pour one tablespoon of the water in, mix that in, and then whatever it got wet, you're going to push to one side of the bowl and keep repeating that until the entire crust is moist. Once that's done, you're going to lay it out on a floured surface and then roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thick. Now, the easy way to make it a circle is just to roll it out from the center out to the edges every time. If an edge breaks, like you get to a rounded edge and it splits, then just pinch it back together. So roll it out to about nine inches wide. Once your pie crust is rolled out, you're going to very carefully roll it onto the rolling pin and then unroll it into the pie dish. Once it's in there, press it into the edges so it's flat on the bottom. And I'm just gonna do a very basic crust. It's just gonna be flatter on the top. If you wanna get really fancy, you could do something like take your finger and press it into the edge and then push two fingers around that to make little rivets all the way around the edge and then pinch those together where they meet. But this is just for me, so I don't really care how it looks. And I also don't like a lot of crust on my pie anyway.
Okay, and now for the filling. In a big bowl, you're going to combine the pumpkin, the salt, the sugar, the spice, and everything nice. And once that's all stirred together, you're going to add in the eggs, the milk, and the evaporated milk. Stir that all together until it's thoroughly combined, and then pour it into the unbaked pie crust. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to bake those for about 50 minutes or until a knife inserted halfway between the center and the edge of the pie comes out clean. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Happy Thanksgiving to my friends here in the US. Please stay safe however you're celebrating. But next week, we're jumping right into the holiday season with peppermint mocha cookies. So meet me back here next week for that. Same time, same place. Until then, I hope you all have a great week. Love you all. Bye.